So today we have the carburetor from the golf cart. It's very small, very simple, uh, but we're gonna tear it down, clean it up, put it back together. Let's get started. The carburetor puts a little bit of fuel in with a lot of air and lets it go into the engine. So this is a small engine carburetor. This is a car carburetor, one of many kinds, but you can definitely see the difference in size. So let's tear it apart. All right, so we're gonna tear into this thing, get it cleaned up and rebuilt, throw it back on the golf cart, hopefully it'll work. First, we're gonna take this bolt off the bottom here. This bolt is actually the bolt that holds the main jet, and it also holds the fuel bowl on. So that's your fuel bowl. That fills with fuel from the fuel tank by the fuel pump. This black ring here is a fuel float. So that sits in the fuel bowl like that. It fills up. So it floats and it shuts off the fuel, kind of like a toilet bowl. So then what we'll do is we're gonna pull out this float pin which holds the float in. I'm gonna use my handy dandy lid top keep this stuff together. So then we can take the float out. Inside of that is your needle. That's the needle. That's That little rubber tip is the plunger that goes into what's called a seat. And it is activated by, activated by the float and it opens and closes and allows fuel to fill up the bowl. So with those being out, we're gonna remove the nozzle. Super exciting part. That's your nozzle. The vacuum of the air coming through the carburetor will pull fuel through that main, through the hole in the main jet, through the jet, through the nozzle. And so what we're gonna, what we're doing is making sure all those things are clean. There's no gunk in them or anything. There's another jet in the top. That's your idle jet. It probably has a million names. I'm probably calling it something wrong. I'm not a carburetor professional. Um, that's the jet that lets a tiny trickle of fuel in to keep it idling if you're not using the throttle. So those are the main parts that we just kind of want to make sure are cleaned out. So that's your seat. That's where that needle rides in. So now we've got that all relatively broken down. We could pull out the butterflies for the throttle and the choke. Um, it's really not that dirty inside, so I don't see any reason to do that. Um, it's a golf cart after all, so. Throw it in this box, we're gonna hit it with a little carb cleaner. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. And now I'm so cold. Oh, I hate everything in the world. All right, and recap real fast, what just happened? The brand new can of carb cleaner was but I account serviced the problem. <laughs> it's a, just a solvent that works really well at dissolving gasoline deposits. Um, it also makes for a great degreaser, fire starter, hairspray, whatever you want. Um, so usually you could be more precise with it and not just have to douse it in a box because the thing was exploding and that's the only can we had. Um, hopefully it did the job. <laughs> These, also, these rubber floats don't really like carb cleaner that much. It can eat them up. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna just clean these little things up a little bit. Um, we're gonna blow some compressed air through everything, kind of what we did when it was on the golf cart. Um, I'm, gonna pull this, I'm gonna pull the main jet out of this plug too and clean it up. All right, so now we're just gonna blow some compressed air through this stuff. I'm gonna try to not blow it into your cameras. That was the one we had Mike Galloway blow through, if you remember. Put this bad boy back together quickly. Needle. Seat. Seat gasket. Float pin. Float. I don't know what they call that. Main jet. Idle jet. Nozzle. Fuel ball. Carburetor body. So reassembly time, uh, it's the same as disassembly. So if you know how to take stuff apart, this is easy, anyone can do this. All you're doing is taking things apart, 
making sure that they're not clogged up, putting it back together. I mean, Jesse couldn't do it, but. So there's some screws that I didn't remove. This one right here is your mixture screw. Um, it's set from the factory, my guess, with this little nut. Uh, it, you can take it out. It, it's just a needle and it lets the gas trickle in through your idle jet, which is just part of the idle circuit. Um, so you can adjust your air fuel ratio with that. There's also a little screw here, which is your main idle adjustment. Um, if we are having problems this afternoon when we get this back on the golf cart, we'll, uh, we'll address those then. Um, this carburetor really has no, the, the adjustability on it is pretty, pretty minimal, so. Also, if this is your Klein screwdriver that I found in a parking lot, thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs>So to recap, we took the carburetor apart, took all the jets out, cleaned them with an explosive can of carburetor cleaner, blew it all out with compressed air. Everything seems to be available now for our use. So let's go throw it back on and see if it works. These are the worst. They always poke you. Handy, where's the handy dandy 10 millimeter, Jesse? You want to tighten those suckers? Yeah, too big. Never heard that before, have you? So don't over tighten it. Yeah, it's just the tape. Okay, cool.